Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will you have the clerk report Senate co uh, Committee Sub 1? Clerk, please report. Senate Committee Substitute 1 to House Bill 242. General Boone. Move that we move for passage or adoption. Motion is that the House does concur with Senate Committee Substitute 1. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, those in favor signify by voting aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. House does concur with Senate Committee Substitute 1. General from Boone. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What this is is the road plan or the highway plan that everyone's very much interested in. It's a, about $1.7 billion in road fund each year, each physical year for the biennium. This also has the three big projects that I keep speaking about, the Brent Spence Bridge. It costs about $2.8 billion total in Kentucky is giving about $1.3 billion. The Mountain Parkway costs $300 million total, and Kentucky is giving $3 million to get engineering design done, and also the I-69 bridge in Western Kentucky. The total cost of that is $750 million, and Kentucky is giving about $320 million. Safety, as I said, is our number one priority. We are giving $7.5 million in guardrail, and $585 million for bridges, excluding the two big mega projects. The number two priority was economic development, such as the Amazon project in northern Kentucky, the battery plant in Hardin County, and the Novellus aluminum plant in Todd County. The number three priority is congestion mitigation. We need new routes and to reconstruct our existing ones. Kentucky is always gaining more population. We use Kentucky Transportation's shift scores to identify and choose projects, and that is why we have a pretty good sound projects. The shift score, or strategic highway investment formulas for tomorrow, analyzes all sides of a project. It ranks projects based on safety, congestion mitigation, cost benefits, and how it is inclined to local and our state cares how we do it we have finally have a program that we are able to score. The governor in Kentucky Transportation had a plan that was programmed at 143 percent. This plan is leaner. It's about 132 percent. Without the three meg mega projects, we would have a budget about a 98 percent. If there's no questions, I move for passage of House Bill 242 as it was amended by Senate Committee Sub 1. 